All right, everybody. We're back out in the Southern Nevada desert. It's time for another outdoor adventure. So let's get out there, start exploring, enjoy the sunlight, get some exercise, and see what kind of rock hound treasures we can find on another awesome rock hound treasure hunt out in the Southern Nevada desert. Always got to look out for those guys right there. Very, very pretty, but very, very dangerous. Watch where you sit. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Do you see it? I know you got to see it. It's all by itself. Check her out. So pretty. Piece of petrified wood. All by your lonesome. Very cool. I don't see no druzy on her. Just a very pretty piece of petrified wood. Very cool. Very cool. What else do we find? That's very cool. Wow. This is very sparkly too. Very, very pretty. What is she, guys? It's like a quartz. What's the other piece of it? Very cool. Love the yellow patterns in there. And that dazzle. Very beautiful. Amazing. What else? Just really cool scenery. Very beautiful stuff here. Still hiking our way out and just kind of combing through on our way. Oh, wow, right there. Do you see it? Check it out. Do you see it? Petrified wood. Petrified wood in that shot right there. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Another beautiful piece of petrified wood. Oh, wow. Check that out. Let me clean this up just a little better. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all the dazzle in there. Check it out. Check it out. So pretty. Just a beautiful piece of petrified wood. We got maroons and purples in there. white it's gonna be a really cool pattern once it's cleaned up but check out all the bling all the druzy bling in there the common opalization very very cool beautiful piece of petrified wood found right there all right let's keep on a little bit of a hike left ahead of us. 
Well, oh shoot. Do you see that? Do you see it? What is that? Petrified wood. Oh, what the heck? What's up? Very cool piece of petrified wood. That's a big chunk. Very cool. A little bit dirty, it was buried pretty good. Check it out. Can't wait till she's cleaned up and we get a better look at her. Petrified wood. Check it out right here. See it? What? Oh, wow. That's cool. It's like the outer part of it. All the colors in there. All the yellows, browns, and whites. And look at all the bling. It is so sparkly. That's so cool. Very cool piece of petrified wood. This will make an awesome project for sure. This is awesome. I'm finding more stuff on my way out than on my way in. This is so cool. Let's keep on. We're still making forward progress on our way back to the vehicle, but it's slow progress as you can tell. Oh wow, check that out. That blends in so well. You know what caught my eye was the dazzle. This little clean spot right here, as I walked by it, it it went bling, and I was like, no way, check it out. That's a cool piece of petrified wood. That's going to have some Druzy Quartz crystallization right in here. All over. Just needs to be cleaned up, scrubbed a bit. But check this out. Check this out right here. As clean as I can get it for now. But look at all the Druzy Quartz in there. Look at the bling. Look at the bling. It's so cool. That's going to look awesome once she's cleaned up. She might be going under the scope later on for a little better up close view. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. So cool. Man. That's beautiful. All right. Any other goodies in this spot? I mean, I want to find some more of this. So amazing. Let's keep on another rock hound treasure hunt. Finding some remarkable goodies out here. You know, I'm leaving 90% of what I'm finding and showing you guys, I'm leaving behind me. I'm just bringing home the better, best of the best pieces. Kind of like fishing when the limit's three fish and you kind of you keep a couple on your stringer and then as you're catching fish you trade up put the smaller ones back set them free keep the bigger ones that's kind of what i do when i'm going through here so stay tuned towards the end i'm going to show you the best pieces cleaned up and a few of them under the scope for a little bit of magnification of the druzy quartz crystallization all right, still working our way out of here, slowly but surely. All right, back at my house. It was an amazing day out there. So many fabulous finds. Here's a few of them that are all cleaned up, pretty much. These are the purple pieces that I had found out there. Check these out. So cool. These are gonna be amazing once they're polished up. Beautiful. 
the deep maroons and purples in them. So much fun out there today. It was uh, it was pretty crazy. I was coming across a lot of really cool finds when I was hiking out into the desert away from my vehicle, but I seem to have, when I circled back around and started coming up a different wash, definitely was coming across many more finds. Check this piece out. Very beautiful piece of coral. Really see the tubular structures here. Let's check this one out under the microscope. That would be cool. Check out what the tubular looks like. All right, let's start right at the very bottom of this piece of coral. Right where it was connected to either earth, a rock, or another piece of the same species of coral. But this is the very bottom. We're going to work our way along the side. Excuse me. see what the side of the coral looks like with all the tubulate structures each one of those individual tubes was a life form very amazing we're working our way to the top what check that out that's getting to the top of the piece of coral right here Look at each individual tip. For me, the most remarkable thing about this coral here is that it's extinct. This coral no longer exists in our oceans. And that I'm able to find it in the desert next to petrified wood. Check it out. Very amazing coral from the Southern Nevada Desert. Wasn't that just incredible? Man, it's amazing. And look at it dazzle. It's got a nice little dazzly sparkle to it. Very, very cool. Love that stuff. Extinct, rare, tubulate coral. Remember, remember this find? It's got all that play, all that dazzle. Just beautiful. All the deep yellows in there and the maroons and... I don't know if I want to say reds, but I think it'll be more of a a maroon than a red once it's polished. But it's so beautiful. Look at all the color, all that sheen. You guys want to see what makes that sheen? Is it druzy quartz crystallization or is it opalization? Let's get in there and see. Under magnification. Alright, how about you? What is making you so very shiny? That is just beautiful. I don't think this is just like a, a druzy layer on the surface. I think if I was to break this piece in half... All the way through, you would have this, this texture, this sheen. 
So I want to say that it's opalized. It's more of a common opalization going on here. It's not that really deep rainbow sheen. It's not the clear glassy opal. But very beautiful nevertheless. This is going to make a really, really cool project piece for me to polish out. Just amazing. Very beautiful. Wow, I just love looking at stuff like this under the microscope and really get a better of a uh, better understanding of what's causing what you see going on a lot of a lot of the depth and detail you can't see with the naked eye just looks so amazing up close and in depth very beautiful piece all right you guys remember this I remember finding this. I remember finding each and every one of these pieces. But check out the quartz crystallization in there. Just amazing. The the part that I find it to, that I find most amazing about this druzy quartz, quartz crystallization, is that it was wood. It used to be wood. The minerals have been replaced. Excuse me. The cellular structure of the wood has been replaced by the minerals in the soil that surrounded the wood. We got to look at this piece under the scope. Check it out. Okay, come into focus. Oh, man. Very, very cool piece. Wow, look at the crystallized structure in there. That's so cool. Work our way over to the bigger crystallized area. Man, look at all the colors in there. Obviously, as you can tell, it could definitely get cleaner. Which means the cleaner the piece is, the more detail you can see, the more crystal structure. You can see all the dirt still in there between all the cracks and crevices these were just soaked in a dawn soapy water solution and then gently scrubbed uh, with a soft bristle toothbrush they can definitely be cleaned better just amazing the druzy quartz crystallization going on here the crystals look at them so pretty amazing wow most oppressive is in this area here the biggest the biggest quartz crystals going on but an amazing piece nevertheless i'll just probably polish the ends of it Leave the rest alone. Just amazing. I love that piece. I know you remember this next piece. Bam! Oh, wow. Remember what she looked like in the sunlight? You know, unfortunately, the sun is always going to give you more of a bling, a, a splash of light. But check that out. Just amazing. Ooh, look at that. So cool.
so cool. Let's check out this play going on here under the scope and see what's causing it. All right, what is causing your very beautiful shine that you have? Check her out. It looks like we have little opalized areas on this piece. Right there. Those areas right there to where when the piece is moved and the light hits it just right, you get that very sexy dazzle. Look at it right there. Very, very beautiful. Let's zoom in a little more. Get a little more magnified. Very cool areas like that. Opalized petrified wood. Very beautiful. Very colorful. Just amazing. Wow. Just amazing. What would you guys do with this piece if you were going to polish it? I think I am going to polish this end because it has less dazzle. Just polish down here, this side here. The two ends I'm going to polish for sure. That's what I think I'm going to do. Just the two ends. And this side right here. This side I'm going to leave alone. This side I'm going to leave alone. Because I mean, look how awesome that looks. Definitely not going to touch this side. Just amazing. Spectacular. Last but not least, guys. Of course, there's many more pieces that we found. We left many of the finds out there but check her out wow look at all the druzy quartz crystallization all over this piece just amazing and all the color so much color This piece, uh, I will say this is going to be my favorite piece. I have, th these are all so cool. I mean, the coral. So check this out. You see right here, this end right there. It just kind of curves. So it kind of either was growing out of the ground like that, or it was growing off the side of another coral but that's just amazing and then we got this piece here you want to see what she looks like wet just amazing piece Let's see what she looks like under the magnification heck yeah Wow. This is the bottom of her. Very, very cool. We're going to get up here into the top, like uh, the front area that's exposed. 
the whole Druzy Quartz crystallized pocket right in this area here. Let's flip it up on her side. Word with me. All right. That is amazing. Was once wood. Now is Druzy quartz crystallized. Agatized. Some opalized. Just amazing what what nature does to wood. One is depleted of oxygen and completely covered in all kinds of different minerals. Very, very cool. So much Druzy quartz crystallization going on. Very, very awesome. Look at that. It's so cool. All the reds and pinks. Wow. Check that out. This used to be wood. That's so cool. Amazing. Just amazing. Wow. So amazing the way it looks. When you really get to get in there and see the details. Uh, just how cool the crystal structure looks. Under magnification. Just amazing. This area was just so cool looking. All of it really was spectacular. Guys, I got one more treat for you on this. I have picked up a new toy for my rock hounding playtime. <laughs> Let's call it. I went ahead and picked up a UV beast. The V3 365 nanometer. You guys got to check out this stuff under black light. This is very, very cool. Let me get the lights. Stand by. Just a second. Kill the, the main shop light in the background. All right. This is going to be cool. Check this out. All right, now let me kill the main light. Camera, action. Boom. Check her out. This is the coral. Coral looks very, very cool. All right. Amazing color comes out of these guys once you hit them with the black light. So cool. Oh, look at the purple is black. Wow. Very, very pretty. Wow, just amazing what this stuff looks like under black light. Wow, check that out. That's so cool. Wow, some more of this purple maroon wood. What? That's so cool. What? Mm -hmm.
you guys want to see something pretty cool? Alright, check this out. Let me hit the lights real quick. I'm gonna reach over to my own little personal collection off to the side. This is a death plate I got from Texas. Really cool shells in there. Um, example, that bigger shell right there. Shells in here you see are these guys right here. So check this out. That's right there. Under the black light, this is pretty cool. Ready? Or you see with the without the black light you see the main shells but once you hit the black light you can see all the other shells that are in there just an amazing death plate look at that so cool you guys if you do rock hounding and you collect a lot of different specimens pick yourself up a 365 nanometer black light UV Beast is just one of many. Um, this flashlight is pretty pricey, but I got it off Amazon last week at 60% off. So I couldn't pass up that deal. But looking at some of your specimens under black light, there's a whole. Been hours just staring, playing. Guys, that's my trip out to the Southern Nevada desert. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like my videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your